Don't trust your tired self. Supersized supermarket savings. How going big can slash the cost up to 60%. Farms is dropping in. Nicholas Cage one-on-one. And you could fill up for free the massive fuel giveaway. Plus, their election promises. Give us your pitch on why you should remain PM. We're taking you direct to the leaders to get your questions answered. Why should we vote for you? Only on Sunrise this week. This weather report is brought to you by Amy. Tonight, 7 News headlines. A TikTok star, the victim of an acid attack on a busy Sydney street. Labor's election reset hits a hurdle as the Prime Minister faces scrutiny over his captain's pick. The chilling warning for Sydney parents as a man tries to lure kids from a public park. And more cancellations on our ferries. Commuters making the most of fair, free travel. Now here's Sally with Sydney's weather. Thank you very much, Ange. Well, Sydney continues its run of 25-degree days thanks to ample sunshine and light winds across the city at the moment. Today, the third day in the road that we reached a top of 25 degrees. Currently, it's 22. Our temperatures at night across the suburbs dip to around 13 degrees to our west, and that's just thanks to those clear nighttime skies. Pretty much all the daytime heat escapes if you don't have a cloud to trap it in once the sun goes down. Now, a band of high-pressure systems are keeping the lower half of the country pretty warm and dry at the moment. There is a change just nudging through from the west. That's that front you can see. That'll reach New South Wales into Monday and Tuesday and that will trigger some wet weather when it arrives in our state. Very warm though for the capitals through the southeast for this time of year. Look at some of these temperatures, in particular in Melbourne, 28 degrees for Easter Sunday. Adelaide, 25 degrees. They'll see that change push through later in the afternoon and evening with a showery change there. Brisbane's still looking fine though. Tops of 26 degrees for tomorrow. A closer look at New South Wales for Easter Sunday. Sunny skies are pretty much the story right across the lower half of the state. Young heading for tops of 26 degrees, also 26 into Wagga Wagga and Hay. Uh, the only sign of wet weather will just be a few showers that will continue just near that border area of Queensland around the northern rivers with a few millimetres expected at Byron Bay tomorrow and tops of 23 degrees. Partly cloudy is the story for Sydney tomorrow. A little bit of patchy fog possible in the western suburbs, but we'll see north east winds pushing temperatures up to a very pleasant 26 degrees through Penrith, uh, 25 degrees through Richmond, a little bit cooler on the coast but still fairly good though, 24 at Manly. We'll drop down to 15 degrees overnight then warm up by around 9 degrees at tomorrow, tops of 24 degrees are forecast into the city. Now looking ahead to Easter Monday, that is actually going to be the warmest day of the long weekend. We're expecting tops of 26 degrees in the city, 20 28 degrees in the western suburbs. Uh, into Tuesday, it'll start off fairly warm. 26 in the city, 27 in the western suburbs. Then we've got that southerly change pushing through. That will trigger a few showers into the afternoons. Fairly light falls across Wednesday. But as you can see, in the latter half of the week, much heavier rain. So enjoy the sun, Anne. OK, thanks, Sal. That is 7 News for this Saturday. We'll have updates for you throughout the evening and weekend sunrises from 7. I'm Angela Cox from all of us here. Thanks so much for your company. Have a great night.